Sports. The safe discovery of a missing girl in Brooklyn Park has revealed a tumultuous home environment, including the unexplained death of one of her siblings. Police say the 11 year old left her home at 3 a.m. 12 hours later, she was found outside of a clinic in Bloomington, 22 miles away. Our Jeff Wagner's been following this developing story. Jeff, I know you read the report. Yes. I saw parts of it. I mean, very unhealthy, uh, unsafe environment for these kids. And we just keep learning more and more. And it starts with the fact that there's now a sign on the front door that reads, unfit for human habitation. The girl's siblings were taken into child protective services. And during today's search for her, we learned one of her siblings died in the home in February. And the documents related to that death investigation are filled with disturbing revelations about that home environment. For more than 12 hours, a heavy police presence filled this Brooklyn Park block outside this home as police searched for an 11 year old runaway. Later that evening, neighbor Marilyn Harris says she found the girl alone outside a clinic in Bloomington. The girl then asked for a ride home. And all of a sudden it started clicking, you know, because we've been watching this all morning. Mm -hmm. And so we said, sure. she said nothing to us in the vehicle, nothing, just that somebody dropped her off. That's all we know. When police initially responded to the home, they said the conditions inside were unfit for children to be living in and had the remaining children taken by Child Protective Services. Some officers entered the house wearing protective gear. The infestation of rodents and bugs inside the house is one of the reasons why the officers are using protective gear. Deputy Chief Mark Bruley says they've had several calls to the house regarding the welfare of children, including a child's death in February. Court documents related to that investigation state he was found unresponsive one morning and died. The cause of his death was undetermined. Those same documents state the children's mother, Tasha Tenen, has an extensive child protection history with reports of physical abuse, endangerment, neglect, and several reports of sexual abuse dating back to 2006. The documents from May of this year ask a court to order protective services for the children because of the multiple accusations against their mother. So we asked police that if a child died there in February, why were children still living there today? Here's what they had to say. You know, I, the Brooklyn Park Police Department is responsible for the criminal investigation, which is still ongoing. The rest of it, as far as the welfare of children at the home, would be a child protection type issue. So, Frank, we contacted Hennepin County's Child Protective Services after hours regarding this 15 page investigation, and we were told the county has filed for an order of protection as stated in these documents, but that it was denied by the court. Well, we'll have to keep following because, as you mentioned, I mean, that's, you know, those documents and 12 year history, there, there's something, I think, probably more to go after here. Tough to read for sure. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, Jeff, thank you.